Welcome back to Let's Play Heavy Rain. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskel. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to be raining for a while now. So, mm -hmm. um, there is a slight gimmick with the way I'm doing this Let's Play here. Uh, right now we are playing as a, our second character, uh, Scott Shelby. He is a private investigator here to investigate the origami killer murders, so to speak. Now, uh, as you know, Heavy Rain has uh, several branching paths and uh, some minor different endings and all that. And, uh, well, to make sure that the playthrough that we play through is the playthrough that we play through, I'm going to be uh, asking you, I, I've, I've been asking you, some uh, context-free questions as to figure out where our story is going to branch out. Ooh, so I decide the fate of this Let's Play. Awesome. Yes, you do. Now, there is only one question for this episode, and it is for this section here. And, All right. Uh, I think Been I might... Uh, Hope I hit pay dirt this I time. think I'll bring up the question when we get to yeah, answering yeah, this question. To to so, uh, yeah, here we go. Hmm. Okay. I've been asking him context-free, so he has no idea go. what I'm talking yeah, about or what's going to happen. So, this will be fine. Well, uh, we're... Uh, just like a, a lot of games that we've done on your channel, I've started them but never finished them. So oh, this kind of rings a bell to me, Third but floor, chances are I've forgotten left, everything. The the well, the more you forget, the better it'll be. Yeah, no kidding. So we're looking for uh, Lauren Winter. Her son was murdered by one of the origami, the origami killer, I guess. He's one of, the, one of the. He, he got killed by a paper crane. Yeah, but he's he's one of the victims, you know. Yeah. So uh, down at the end of the hall, uh, I forgot what he said. I'll just try this door, I guess. Uh, okay. It's kind of hard to lift his arms these days. Well, you know, you get a little older, you got a bit more mass on the arms there. Is there anybody here? <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking this is like. The weighted cloak that Piccolo wears. <laughs> it's an extra 90 pounds on him. <laughs> That'd be heavy! Okay. Guess we'll try this door. Oh, it's a bit past midnight. What are we doing out so late? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm really, I'm really nervous. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh, hang Wait. on a second. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Are you half asleep? Me or her? They'll, uh, looking at these weird faces again. Kind of everybody in this game is half asleep, I'd wager. Put your money on the table. They'll suffer from right. narcolepsy. That's the anything. true horror of the yeah, origami killer. Heavy <laughs> sleep! I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. So this place looks fine. Hey, she thinks I'm a client. This is, this is actually Especially a really nice this apartment. room. Yeah. I mean, it's all one room, but, you know, in terms of studio apartments go, I've seen worse. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? Well, I'll take that, but uh, no, I'm here for something else. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Hello, my name is Crooked Cot. Take your clothes off. The asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. Oh, that's 75 bucks. I already said <laughs> police all I know. I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Well, uh, we can persist or we can fashion, but we'll just convince her. Free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead. Try, see if we can go Cole Phelps on this girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go renegade on this. <laughs> Why are you lying to me, Lauren? Victims if we don't stop the killer. What can you, you tell me about the origami killer. killer? You may know something that can aid the investigation. I'm Scott Shelby. This is my favorite dive apartment <laughs> in the entire Citadel. There's nothing you can do! <laughs> my son's dead! Can we have a, a mixture of, dead. uh... Commander Shepard and Cole Phelps, please. If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers well, who find we gotta, their son. Well, we got to trick her, and that's land. that's the way that she'll open up to but, us about but, her but son. But you're right. Why should you care? <laughs> this is basically it's guilting. This isn't tricking. Anymore, this is right? just being an asshole. So we either guilt her and trick her, or we buy her off, and then she just piss her off even more. Now we got a guilt tripper now. Aw, who's mommy's little thug? What do you want to mm. know? There we go. 
Well, uh, I guess I'll uh, ask some questions and that she's ready to talk. So uh, let's talk about. Uh, let's see, I got a few things here. This, this is that actually is a nice place. Oh. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Apparently, this game is just press X to Talk J to name. Mr. Shelby, if you have no more questions, scram. Well, okay, I guess we'd better further the Did story. So let's talk about the suspect. After he disappeared. Oh. I meet a lot of pretty shady oh. characters in my line of work. <laughs> like, sure, like you, Mr. Shelby. First. Mr. Shelby, you seem to have a small case of but ADD. It didn't seem to make any sense. I, I call this uh, adventure game protagonist I don't syndrome. Any of my clients. <laughs> Erratic <laughs> movements, <laughs> looking through everything, Johnny, asking about everything, walking around like a kids? spastic. Ooh, what's over here? It's a very serious mental condition. How did your son disappear? I've been trying to wait to raise awareness to of adventure game protagonist syndrome. It's, it's either that or he's trying to wake up the foot that fell asleep. You know, you gotta walk it off a bit. It just feels all tingly. It's a good thing she doesn't have any trunks or chests in here because he'd open all of them. <laughs> I thought you were about to say he'd accidentally kick one and then start cursing a lot. <laughs> oh my god, you smoke! You want one? No thanks, I quit. <laughs> I quit. That's Turns brave. off the game. <laughs> I was just thinking that, too. He just walks out the door and says, uh, you know what, no more. Well, if you want to take a walk, Shelby, I mean, you look like you want to go out. Does Shelby want to go outside? Does Shelby want to go outside? What a good boy. You know, anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? Case. Case. No. Oh. <laughs> he must have run away and probably end up coming back. Is that a donut on the table? Please say you can his take it. His body was found five days later with a Nora leave. figure in his hand. And an orchid on his chest. Oh my god, we're stuck in here until the exposition's done. I can't go in that room. Looks like I'm just stuck in this... Uh, oh. Duh. I love your face there, that. Shelby. What kind of kid was he? Donnie was really a good A dead boy. one? Oh, wait, no. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a... You know. A person? In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. A mom? On. <laughs> a cockroach? A tractor. A dress. No. Oh, guess I. Well. Um. A crying little baby, am I right? Get over it. It's just your dead son. Oh. That was a little insensitive. Shame on you, Shelby. The only good thing in my whole fucking life. He was taken away from me for no reason. Now I only have three other kids! Get out of and here. I've never seen them before, and this world sucks. Well, okay. Bye, then. It would be unhelpful and start yelling at me. Like, all I wanted to do was just ask you questions about your son so I could help find... I didn't find learn squat. Well, She's like the, the living version of a Facebook post. I should have eased up on her. Looks like she's still in shock. Who gives a fuck? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> she just lost her kid. I can understand. How she's <laughs> just, doing. So he's just no standing there and just having an inner <laughs> monologue. It's just. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I thought he was saying this out loud. Strong suit. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. <laughs> well, then why would you give it as an option? <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me try to calm you. Here's 50 bucks. You don't need to fuck me. There. Give you an extra 20 for a blow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you remember anything. The smallest detail. Oh, I thought he was actually yeah. giving her the 50, but no, it's just now his we'll card. We'll leave our card behind on the table so that way <laughs> she, she she can contact us later. Because we will see, we'll be seeing her uh, later on. I, uh, I'd call her the unofficial fifth protagonist. Because oh, she's, really? she's so pivotal to the storyline. Okay. Yeah, she and Scott are going to be best buddies. Good. Well, I guess we'll just leave... The apartment building now, I suppose. What is that face, Shelby? Oh. <coughs> it's called having a heart attack. I was about to say, I think his model's broken, but no, it was actually a story element. Or, or like, really bad acid reflux. Oh, please don't kill the man before we've even gotten to know him. There we go. Oh, okay, it's asthma. Three breaths? God! That showed up really quick. I mean, unless he's winded by walking down a hallway, which, from the looks of it... Oh, look, look, look at the guy. Sorry, doll. But I really wanted to see So your first question was, do we save the lady? 
So I guess we better go save the lady. Hello, want, asshole. Lauren. Stone Cold life. says I've got my whore. Yeah. <laughs> swell. Oh wait, that was a mixture of Hogan and Stone Cold. So we could leave, or we could just kick the door open and beat his ass. So, because you said save the lady, we're gonna save the lady. Somebody once told me I gotta <laughs> kick this guy's ass. It was either that or the Kool-Aid man. I couldn't figure out which I wanted more. Now this is where I actually enjoy Heavy Rain a lot. These quick, these uh, quick time sequences, uh -oh. I enjoy these. These are they're fun, exciting, they're dramatic. This is the bread and butter of David Cage. It's just all the stuff in between. It's just dry rice crackers that are kind of stale, you know. <laughs> well, and the best part is. You've got great reaction time when it comes to quick time events. I mean, I noticed you're missing a couple of them, but you're still a lot better at this than me. Oh! I do have great reaction time. <laughs> that was an audio joke, just in, case you, just in case you were wondering what that meant. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and uh, I... If I remember correctly, one of the unique selling points in Heavy Rain is if a character dies, the story's not over. Yeah, no. Every one of the characters in this game can die. Well, Interesting. Okay, well, except Ethan. Ethan can't die, but he can be gone from the game. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We'll get to we'll get to that later. But uh, right now, uh, we're kind of Ooh. you know. Ah, uh, oh, mannequin. Scott hasn't hit the gym in a while, so he's not really big on the whole fighting yet, but uh, he's, he's holding his own. He's got it. He's still pretty good at defending himself. I mean, he, he's lasted longer than I would. I'll see you again, asshole. That could have gone better. Are you alright? Ow. Ow. Him, Ow. Who is he? <laughs> An ex client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Maybe you should work at McDonald's or something. Far less dangerous. He'll probably be back. I don't know. Do you know how many deep fire deaths happen in a year? Mr. Uh, I, I don't. I haven't looked. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <sighs> thanks. Maybe I can put that guy in a deep fryer. Oh, oh the ultimate finisher. It's like defeating Antoine in Dead Rising 2. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Where's my inhaler? Can't breathe, can't walk, the investigation <laughs> failed. What a fucking load of shit. So now this is our third character we're going to be looking at now. Uh, we're going from the private investigator to an actual, honest-to-God, cop. This, okay. This is uh, um, Norman Jadem. Don't, don't blame me, mm -hmm. but I thought that was Ethan. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. No, nah, no, nah, Ethan has more of a dopey-looking face. Okay, okay, but uh, on first glance... Let's go with that. I just was thinking, wow, that's the same guy. Maybe if he was blonde or had a slightly different facial structure. Or if he was black or something. You just, something to differentiate him. That'd be nice. He looks too much like freaking Ethan Mars. But he is also vastly different than Ethan Mars. He has a personality? Uh... See, we have Ethan as a plank of wood, and we have this guy as a block of concrete. So what's our last character going to be? Well, that's not going to be for a while yet, for our fourth okay. character. Right now, we're still kind of setting the stage for this epic interactive drama. So, we're here at a crime scene. Let's take a look at some things. Crime scene investigation. So, uh, last episode I said this that uh, this place was kind of like in Chicago-ish land, and mm -hmm. uh, that's not true. It's it's apparently oh, my hands are trembling. Pittsburgh land. I gotta keep my act together. Or Pennsylvania-ish land. -ish. Goddamn rain hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. Really? Like David Cage even I sent his uh, his crew out there to take sure. pictures and, you know, like, really, really report. check out the scenery and the architecture of, of uh, Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania and all that. And... <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. This is the most Europe-looking no. Europe, no. Europe Pennsylvania I've ever fucking seen. I was just about to yeah. say, yeah, this looks nothing like Pittsburgh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and, uh, pro you know, I was... 
just thinking, Ubisoft knows how to go to a location and perfectly recreate it. Oh, yeah, they're great artists. This ain't Pittsburgh, man. No, no. This ain't Pittsburgh. This ain't, <laughs> this ain't uh, pencil. Fuck. No, I'm, thinking. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Fuck. I keep forgetting is all the around? things from Pennsylvania. I all saw him arrive earlier. He's well, here if somewhere. this is a European Pennsylvania, Thanks. let's just call it Pittsburgh. Because <laughs> everybody's a robot in this game. You know, I was just thinking that first scene we saw of... Uh, who's this guy again? Uh, the, this guy? Yeah. Jaden. Jaden. I have a feeling Jaden would pull a turkey and look up and just drown in the rain. Yeah, maybe. But he's he, he's a cop. Actually, no, wait, he's not a cop. He's part of the FBI. <gasps> the FBI? The FBI. And we've also got uh, special glasses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. This is oh this God. is Video Ari. <laughs> Super Future Tech. <laughs> what, why are all you losers looking around the crime scene trying to find clues when everything of note can be automatically found with my special sunglasses? Oh my God! It's time to duel. Hey, don't mess around with the guy in shades. <laughs> what a dork. So, basically, the rest of the police force is incompetent. All we just need is, you know, a Siri. Because they don't have my toys. See, look, right, like, right here, we have, uh... How the hell are you getting all this information? Unrelated to the investigation. That's unrelated. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Blake! Oh, so Lieutenant Carter Blake is over there. Oh, thanks. I guess he is over there. All right, thanks. Well, so wait, uh, this Ari can find evidence, it can tell you all the information about I'm something specific, about a person Blake. touching a bottle, but it can't tell you where the chief is. You guys seen Blake? I feel, I feel like I can like walk around for like hours and go, has anybody seen Blake? Blake! Oh, Blake! Please don't. Oh, please don't. Oh, let's see, let's analyze this DNA sample, let's see. Looks like footprints. Harry but... comment. Sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. But how? He had to be wearing like different shoes. And it's also possible that who knows? They might have the hey, same uniform for there. everybody. What are you doing? Ah, ah. Sorry. Lieutenant Blake? Blinded. I'm Agent Norman Hi, I'm from back the from the FBI. Matrix. What did I, I miss? I your office this morning. They told me you'd be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, this is what's uh, talking about the that game. That's the what this episode is. Minutes, rain, dead myself. bodies, and highways. Right away, Lieutenant. Life is a dead body in rain next to the highway. Well, Life wait, is a crime you? scene! Oh, that <laughs> works a lot so, better. <laughs> what happened? Some a guy, guy died. For a piss, found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Six o'clock this morning, you found the body, and you're like still you're here at like eight at night. Six o'clock in the morning, taking a walk down here. Maybe like, where was he walking on the highway? Listen, I can see that's busy. what I'm wondering. Does he have like mind. amazing vision where he looks he down the highway guess. and see? Oh yeah, that's a corpse. Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Yeah, no, fuck that guy. <laughs> he is he is no revolver ocelot. So we can throw our sunglasses back on, and let's get uh -huh. to finding some more clues. It's time to investigate some shit. All right, let's see. Is a DNA sample? There's a used tissue. There's a so you can do rag. So you can press R1 to make uh, things appear in this little some light arc of light. Power. The concentration of pollen but, uh, in the air is we've found some orchid the rain, pollen. But it gets higher in the direction of the body. And if you know the origami killer's motive, he leaves an origami in their hand and an orchid on their chest. So there's an orchid somewhere here that's leading to the dead body, which means that this is absolutely 100% an origami killer murder. Harry comment. Wow. On his back. No visible signs of violence. So fortunately, uh these crime scenes are nowhere near as grisly as the ones from L.A. Noir. <laughs> I, I noticed. The guy just looked wet. Yeah. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Hmm. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. 
The blood report indicates you know, if the rest of the police force had this Ari, exhaustion, they wouldn't be, be as incompetent. Yeah. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Mm hmm. Mm, his shoes are untied. Evidence of a practical joke that happened before he died. Let me give that one more look, though. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Aha! Yep, 110% origami, origami right killer, murder, you know what I mean. Fingers were probably Do you know how easy this is to replicate, death. though? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's probably simple. But however, how much of the An motive... Was placed on how much chest. of uh, his M.O. is, you know, for public access? That's true. Did, did they, they mention the orchid? Bowls. Did they mention the, or the origami in the hand? Ago. See reference file. Sometimes they uh, leave those details out to prevent copycat murderers. Oh, I got you. And no, there is there is no copycat killer. It's just it's just one guy doing all this. So. I'm just thinking, what happens if somebody just decides one day, you know what? I've learned paper crafting. Let's do something with it. <laughs> I'm gonna be a serial killer. <laughs> Just like my mama always wanted. Daddy, daddy, hey, dude. Daddy, daddy, I made a plane out of paper. Am I ready to kill people now? <laughs> he tosses a paper airplane into somebody's eye, and that's where it begins. And then I got my cutie mark. <laughs> God, what would that cutie mark be? Strange character that Blake didn't seem too pleased to see me. I can hear you, Jaden. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Way too many people here. They're trampling all, all the, the victims and... died next to trains. It's perfect. The body got scratched when it was moved. There may be more traces of blood around here. Orchid powder. Something the killer couldn't control. Can it be traced back to its source? Impressive. Wait. Seems what? the only traces the killer left are those. He couldn't control to it. He knew exactly what he was doing. He couldn't control right the, 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 you know, the trace of pollen. I'm just thinking, couldn't he have put it in, like, tissue paper or something? Well, maybe. But there's still some more clues to find here. There are, like, ten clues in this crime scene. I don't know if we find them all, but, uh... We're gonna find enough to at least satisfy the game. Bum, bum. <laughs> oh, no! Didn't see that coming, did you, dipshit? Well, he's got sunglasses on. How can he see? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at sunglasses... At night. Dead cat. This game sucks. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Until today. Dead cat log 001. Oh, where's the Katagami killer? Don't kill it. No more dead cats. You know, we could probably combine the murderer's MO into one name. He could be the Orchidgami killer. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I kind of wish there was a bit of a run button, or like a slight jog, perhaps. You know, I've always had an issue with Harry games where you walk around and make important track. decisions. And now because you can never run, me. for some reason. Or like a jaunty jog, that's all you need. Well, what some games have been doing now is after you beat the game the first time, they add a run feature so you can speed it up a little bit. Track. But if they... God, it, that's brilliant. But if they keep you at this one kills. pace, then, you know, they can control, like, what you see, you know, the, the how things unfold. So you make sure you get the best experience. Ooh. Another clue over there I just saw. So when does your speed run of Heavy Run come out? Heavy oh Rain, not Heavy Run. <laughs> Blood Dude, you're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast you're going! Woo! The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. All right, let's do some climbing and see if there's any more clues up there we can find. Let's see. Oh, whoops! I was just about to make a joke that if you don't press the wrong button, you're gonna slip. Well, let's try it again. Oh my God, you can! <laughs> Haven't you ever played Breath of the Wild, you do putts? Well, you, Come on! Haven't you ever played Breath of the Wild? You can't climb in the rain! Oh. I know, and he's still trying! <laughs> Alright. 
this time. <laughs> Could somebody get me some plastic bags for my shoes? Oh, wait, that would be worse. Can I get an airlift? All right, let's, let's try and do it for real. But the thing is, this is kind of still a little bit on the difficult side. <laughs> How long are we going to be here? See, the thing is, when the uh, button goes away, you can release it. See, I have to hold circle and then hold triangle. Mm -hmm. Now I can mm -hmm. release circle and hit R1. Now I can release triangle and hit L1. Ah, come on. This sounds like so much fun and immersive. I'm so glad I'm commentating over this and not playing it. Meanwhile, your fingers are fucking pretzeled over your DualShock 3 controller. You ever play Twister? Yeah, but not the way you're supposed to because I didn't have enough people to play it with. You're playing it right now, buddy. Just imagine <laughs> having a bunch of people put their hands all over your controller trying to climb this damn thing. Uh, I got a hard time climbing this. All right, let's do it for real. Come on. Can't be this bad. It's just it's just quick time events. Come on. And the thing is, it doesn't even look that steep. Yeah, I mean, I can I can imagine it being kind of you know a little bit of a climb, but you know, whoa! When you're like at the top, come on. All right, we're halfway there. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> Still more to do. This is stupid. I really want to. Uh, oh damn it! No, no, no! Don't fall all the way down! No, 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 no! No! Okay. Should have worn my hiking gear today. You know, I noticed there was an option to go back down, and I wish it would just show the animation of him falling down the hill again. Well, we we'll have to come back down here when we figure out what's up here. Now, time for stage three. Fucking hell! Come on! It's not that hard! Hey, Jaden! There's stairs to the left over there, if you mean... Uh, sh shut up, Tom! I'm the climbing champion of Pittsburgh! <laughs> I did it. Now to jump into traffic. Now uh, jump back down. No! Don't you dare! Well, the game had us come up here for a reason. What did we come up here for? Ooh, a couple blues. It's a oh, red herring. Oh. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Jaden will remember We've seen all there is to see. Ah, oh, oh, why are you so sure about it now? Uh, I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Alright, that's pretty good. Get the fuck out of the road, you glasses wearing doofus! Just walk, walking along the highways like, yeah, none of you motherfuckers ever. <laughs> I would splash him on purpose. I mean, I'm not that guy, but if I saw some douche wearing sunglasses at night in the rain, Dark, he deserves it. Up, oh, and there he goes. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh well. Just just tumble all the way down. Try Tumble. to go down here and get very carefully. To trip and trip and trip and trip and trip it up and down. I didn't know this guy needed like five pairs of clothes to go to a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Stuck the landing. He pays like five thousand dollars a month in dry cleaning alone. <laughs> He's just a dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> who's apparently not too good with his legs. Wake! I slipped and fell into mud! <laughs> Maybe you should take off the sunglasses, you idiot. <laughs> uh, I, uh, need to... Do, do you have a moist towelette I can borrow? Or some shout? Please, something so I can wipe off my lovely coat. By the way, I noticed there was a train in the background as you were talking with Blake, so was that timed? Or was that supposed to happen? Probably, but I bet it would have happened when I was up there so I don't get hit by a damn train. Damn it, I w- mm. How dare this game take away my possible fun? I can't- how do- oh, there we go. Blake! Oh, we need to wait for the princess to reach her carriage before we can follow her. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Played in the mud. 
found a body. Time to go back to my uh, expensive Audi or whatever. Oh, just don't. No, no. Sit oh, right God. on the upholstery in my muddy-ass oh. trench coat. <laughs> just... Fuck! <laughs> That's terrible. It's not even leather, so you just can't hose down your car. Carefully. Oh. The engine's been a little finicky lately. Gotta make sure I do it. There. Up. Right. There we go. God damn, man. Well... I hope you enjoyed this exciting, high-octane episode of Heavy Rain, because Why? look what you got at the end! You got Heavy Rain. Uh, rain yay. is rain is a theme of the game Heavy Rain, if you didn't know. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. I get it now. Because it's raining. Rain. <laughs>